Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Let's Play Manufactio. I upload a new episode of Modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. Smash like if you feel I earned it and also consider leaving a boom in the comment section below. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. All right, my guys. So today what we're going to do is we're going to work on the advanced Coke oven. Specifically, uh, we the reason why we want this guy is so that we have a cheaper version of steel. Uh, the way we've been making steel so far, if we hover over it and use U, uh, we've been doing the uh, blast furnace, five pieces of steel uh, for with coal to make one or five pieces of iron to make one piece of uh, of steel, which is pretty expensive. So with this, we can make the uh, the cook dust required. So the advanced coke oven requires steam, which I'm going to pull from the diesel generators that are already making steam. Pulverized coal, which we're already making in the corner. We have pulverized coal going through the crusher. It's automated. Those two items are going to be sent to the advanced coke oven to make coke dust, uh, polluted water, and creosote oil. So with the coke dust, what we're going to do is we're going to send that to the third arc furnace that we made last episode. And coke dust only requires three iron ingots to make one steel. So it's going to uh, save our lives when it comes to our iron supplies. We won't be uh, using as much iron as we have for the steel. Okay, so up here I have the machine blueprint. This one doesn't have an actual blueprint so that we can't uh, put it in a capsule and drop it. So I went through this list. Uh, only two of the items there are unfamiliar. So we're going to unlock it in the quest book real quick. Uh, we need pink. Whoa, that's a lot of clicking. Okay, we need, what else do we need? Green and red. One, two. One, two, there we go. So we'll detect that advanced Coke oven. Right here in processing, right there. We could have gotten it a while ago, but it hasn't really been that important. Surprised it didn't auto claim there. All right, and let's drop off the extra stuff that we have. Red, green, and pink. There we go. All right, so we drop that off. Also have all of the fluid pipe that we need that we're going to lay up, um, to connect the steam from the diesel generator uh, into the advanced cook oven. All of the filters and everything have already been set. So what we're going to do is now we can check and see what these two items are. Huge fluid input and huge fluid output. So let's search for huge. Yep, there's only two items. Whoops, huge A. We click on it and then hit A. All right. Oh, so we need basic fluid tanks for these guys, right? It's a normal fluid output, normal fluid input. Okay, cool. That's easy enough. So we have one. Oh, is it reinforced? No, it's normal. So I can't use this reinforced one. Let's see. Double left click, normal, normal energy, normal fluid output. So we need a normal fluid input. We need a bucket and a machine casing. Okay. Like this. Whoa. That. All right. Like this. Output and input cool and then uh we need two of these tanks what am i missing glass got some glass going one two and now we need to put these guys back in whoops this guy.
There we go. All right, advanced machine casings can go back in. The redstone can go back in. And we can drop off the glass. So there we go. Huge fluid output, huge fluid input. I have two trash bins that I'm going to use for the uh, polluted water and for the uh, creosote once I fill up one advanced fluid tank. So let's go. I already have an area set here. I tore down all of the tech guns area. I just didn't feel like running cable all the way over there anymore. So what I did is I moved the two uh, advanced biogenerators over here because the only reason why we have these guys is to make the uh, the bio oh, was it biogas bio the biofuel required for creeper acid I think. And then, yeah, I removed all of this stuff because I moved it downstairs. And this is where we're going to put the uh, advanced coke oven. So let's see. In the middle, it looks like coke brick and uh, the machine controller. So let's do that right here and here. And then let's go shift, left click, right click. All right. All right, that looks like a lot of coke brick down here. That. I know this one is kind of confusing. Yeah, that's steel. Because the coke brick and the steel sheet metal, to me, looks almost identical. So yeah, these guys are steel. There we go. Steel, steel, steel. There we go. And then these are the outputs, right? Oh, we needed two. Did we? Two huge fluid output. There we go. First perk of the day. And what's in the front is going to be the item input, probably. No, the item input's on top. The item output's in the front. And then we need the fluid input here. And the energy in the back. All right, and we need to make one more of the uh, huge fluid outputs for uh, one for creosote and one for polluted water. All right, so we need another basic tank. We need another normal fluid. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go. Input. Output. Oh, I got rid of the bookmarks. Huge. And glass. No. It moves it around. Glass. There we go. Black wool. Okay. And... goes back Whoop. there we go that back huge fluid let's go okay so there we go huge fluid oh we moved too far away it made the hologram go away. All right, left click, right click. There we go, next level. Sheet metal. All right. That's sheet metal. Stop. Sheet metal, sheet metal. What is that? That's a brick. Right. Oof. Brick. 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 Not a brick. That was an elephant. Sheet metal. Brick. 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 And more sheet metal. All right. And then that one is the input. Boom. 
And let's see, it probably just pillars up. There we go. Nice. Yep, it changed colors, it's dark, looks awesome. So this is where we're going to do the fluid input. And then this guy. I believe this guy, yeah, if it outputs the water inputs from the bottom. So if this guy has a pipe, this should be the steam pipe right here. So let's go this way. Oh. And how are you looking? Look at that steam. Got it. First try. All right, so we need power. Let's go one and one. Let's see, we should be, yeah, we should be able to patch right here, because this one is our LV to make sure that uh, the pump system doesn't shut down for whatever system. We always have one set running through LV to our windmill. So this is our MV right here. So this bad boy has power now. And then let's see. We're going to have to send the items. Oh yeah, the item input is up here. Kind of inconvenient. Let's see, which direction should we go? Did we come up the side? Right here, woo. Pick's a little too strong. Put that back. So let's send the item duct up the side here. Yeah, we can go straight. Why do I have two rows? Problem for another day. Go up. And up. And let's go like this. And let's grab a filter real quick before random things get pumped into the machine. Whitelist, we'll do a stack, and we need to go get the uh, pulverized coal that we have. So that takes care of the item. Oh, I didn't connect it. There we go. So we'll grab coal. This is going to be the output. This guy needs to go somewhere as well. Let's go this way. Alright, one. Oh, it's always when I try to fly through one of these small holes. There we go. And we'll go this way, that way, and attach a servo. And disabled. Alright. So that will supply the uh, coke dust. So now what we need to do, since this guy has power, we need to grab a piece of pulverized coal real quick. Let's see, right here is where we're sending. We have a filter. Yep, coal whitelist one stack goes into the bin which gets pulled out by the hopper and put into the crusher. And then it spits out the pulverized coal, of course, which the inserter grabs and puts into the spin here. All right. And uh, when this bin is full, this guy stops grabbing, which means the pulverized coal stays in here. The redstone probes send the signal to turn off the hopper so it stops pulling stuff out. That's the only way I could think of to automate the crusher since this guy has an infinite black hole of uh, product that can go through. Oh yeah, and over here, I was being super lazy. I made some elite bins for cobblestone and for sand, uh, and I've been putting all of the cobblestone that I've gathered and all the sand from the crusher uh, into these so that the hoppers move them all into one of the elite bins and then I can upgrade all of these guys to elite bins. All right, so let's see, we have the pulverized hole that we need. So let's go ahead and set the filter. 
right here, pulverized coal. And I believe it's going to take a little bit for it to get here. I should have grabbed an entire stack. And this guy, yeah, he's using one at a time. So that's pretty good. It's a little slow. I'm not 100% sure if the speed upgrades work on this unit. I'll have to test it out. All right, 90%. And we have... Oh, did it send it already? It probably sent it already to the uh, arc furnace that we made last episode. So here we should have creosote oil. And this one is polluted water. All right, so what I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to use a hardened flux duct and a servo. All right, and let's see, that one should that, does that, doesn't do it automatically. Okay, so we're going to disable this and empty. All right, so all of the polluted water is going to be pulled out and dumped into the trash bin, so we don't need to worry about it at all. This, on the other hand, creosote oil, I do want to save up one of these advanced fluid tanks, so I don't think it'll output immediately. No, it doesn't. All right, so what we're going to do is put this guy here, do the same thing, the same thing. All right, and we have 600 creosote oil in there out of uh, 128,000. All right, there it goes again. Let's see, is it already getting? Yeah. So it has sent it. Yeah, pulverized coal is being sent. It's being turned into coal coke. And let's go follow this along to the uh, arc furnace. All right, here's our arc furnace, and we have iron whitelisted a stack, and yeah, coke dust. We already have coke dust whitelisted here, and I believe when I looked, I saw it uh, spit out a little bit. So there, there we got steel, our first piece of steel, and it is set to ignored. Okay, so this is our steel supply. So the last thing we need to do is we need to disconnect this guy over here, which is our uh, expensive way of making steel. We still have a full bin. We can let this guy run through. We'll just break this off right here. That will shut down the system. This guy will keep going with steel. Uh, and this bin will empty before. But then as soon as this bin is empty, I don't believe... Was it making... Maybe. No, because I, the only place I have the uh, slag being sent to is the crusher, and that guy got repurposed. Never mind. So when this is empty, I can rip this down. But that's our cheaper way of making steel. Now we can make steel with three iron instead of five. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like if you feel like I earned it, and also click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. I left some videos here for you that I think you might like, but I'm not sure if the buttons work. Could you check and let me know? Do it.